What's up, humans and freaks? So this is literally, literally one of the worst prejudging, judging calls I've ever seen in Mr. Olympia history. Okay, so what it is is the first half of the show was tonight. The judges... Dude, this is what I'm talking about. This is what a lot of people that truly know bodybuilding, this is what we're talking about, dude. These, this is the politics. Okay, this is highway robbery. In bodybuilding, this is highway robbery, what the judges did. They did not compare two guys, actually three guys that really should have been compared to the top two. So Big Rami and Brandon Curry were separated from the rest of the pack, okay? Um, and the judges just judged them too at the very end. And there's nothing wrong with that if they had already been compared to some of these other guys, uh, uh, Nick Walker, Hottie Chupon, and, and William Bonac all got screwed over. Big time got screwed over at the, at the uh, pre-judging that happened tonight. So there's the pre-judging and the night show. This is the first half of the show. It's called pre-judging. The judges literally did not compare Nick Walker, Bonac, and Hottie Chupon against Big Rami and Brandon Curry. Complete BS. Complete BS. This is the politics stuff we're talking about. This is insane. What they just did. Insane. So basically, they're, they're not making it possible for a few guys to win, the, to win the contest because they're not giving them a chance to be compared against who, are, who they are calling the top two. Big Rami and Brandon Curry are not for sure a top two uh, in this show. Definitely, definitely not Rami. Brandon, I can see. Rami's, he's off, dude. Rami is off. For sure. Rami is off. Rami came in and did the exact opposite of what we thought he was going to do and what he should have done. There was no improvements made to his physique. None from last year. And he actually looks worse because his conditioning's off. And it was obvious, dude. Rami is way, way off. So for the judges to just automate, see, and, and the judge, dude, I'm telling you, this is what they do. This is what they do. They're like, uh-oh, this is what the judges are thinking in the IPB. Uh-oh, Big Rami's off, but we still want him to be in the top one or two spots. So let's not put him next to Nick Walker, Bonac, or Hottie because they will expose Big Rami. They'll show it and everybody will be able to see, the audience, everybody, all the fans, they'll be able to see that Hottie and Bonac and Nick Walker are actually probably better than Big Rami right now. And maybe better than Brandon. Brandon looks really, really good. So I'm not, there's nothing really wrong with Brandon being separated from the pack. But again, Brandon still hasn't been compared to uh, Bonac, Nick Walker, and Hottie Chupon. Dude, those three guys. Bonac, Hottie, and um, Nick Walker. Those three. I feel really bad for those guys right now. They didn't even get a chance to compete for the top two spots. At least in the first half of the show, they didn't even get a chance to compete for the top two spots. And they easily should have been given a shot to be in the top two. Oh, this is what's so frustrating. This doesn't always happen, but it, it just happened right now. It just got over a second ago. Uh, and this has happened in years past, too. See, this is the BS we're talking about. This is the politics. Big Rami is way off, dude. I don't know. We're going to see what they do at the night show. The judges can make it up. Let's see. I don't think they can truly make it up. But if the IFBB is really fair... And going to do this contest really fair and judge it truly fair. The night show tomorrow night is the second half. So 50% is judged tonight. 50% is judged tomorrow night. They better put Hottie and Nick Walker and Bonac right there with Brandon and Rami and go like three or four rounds in a row. Because this is complete BS what just happened.
complete BS. With. And I'm a fan of Big Rodney and Brandon. I actually think Brandon Curry, I think he, him and Hottie are the two strongest cases for winning the whole contest. I think Brandon and Hottie Chupon should be your one and two. Based off prejudging, Brandon and Hottie are one and two. That's what I see. And you know what? Dude, I didn't even think so, but it's possible Nick Walker could even be in that one or two spot. We don't know because they didn't even give him a chance to compete and, and compare him. Man, so anyway, that's the takeaway from prejudging. It's just sad. It's, it's just, that, that, that was one of the worst judged pre... Um, that was one of the worst judged Mr. Olympia prejudgings I've ever seen. And I've been watching this since uh, 97, 97, 1997. That's one of the worst... Maybe, yeah, one of the worst ever that I've seen. This has happened before in years past where they, when you can see they're clearly, they don't see, they don't want these guys standing next to Big Rami or Brandon Curry because they might be better than them and they don't want that. I don't think really better than Brandon, but better than Rami. Com this is insane. This is insane. Anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow night and I'll do a wrap up of the whole show. All right.